We're now on the subject of coffee. Yeah. Right? And uh, uh, somewhere, some time ago, I read that coffee was discovered because some shepherd was with his goats. What? <laughs> yes, and uh, discovered his goats eating this particular berry, which was giving them a lot of energy, and then decided to try it out himself. Is that for real? One time in the, in the past, Africans were slaves of uh, you know, the Middle East, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, they used to, to let the slaves chew the coffee to give them energy. And, oh, uh, really? Yeah, Yemen started trading coffee and uh, brought it to the whole world. History has it that uh, Lipa Batangas used to be the sole supplier of uh, raw coffee beans wow. to the world. No? This was during the time that uh, all these coffee growing nations was hit by coffee rust mm -hmm. and blight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So every, all the coffee were coming from Batangas. Coffee is regarded as a stimulant. Yes. Uh -huh. yes okay. Yes. So it, it has a property. In, uh, yeah. In fact, uh, there's so many research now that are coming up by reputable uh, research institutions. Mm -hmm. It's really a, a million health benefits uh, to, coffee. With, to coffee. One is uh, it prevents Alzheimer's. It oh prevents, gosh, uh, give me another cup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. Type 2 diabetes, it's uh, an antidepressant. Just like any uh, raw, raw ingredient, mm -hmm. you have to Cook it. And you have the brand, the brand is Gourmet Farms. Gourmet Farms, yes. Great. We have civic, I thought they, you found it only in the Philippines in the south, in Mindanao, for example. No, uh, we have it in Cavite, oh, we have do? it okay. up north in in, uh, in Benque. Um, yeah. And the other things you'll see up in, um, in the farm are these beautiful herbs that you see in front mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. And these are so beautiful. Everyone knows the basil because you make your spaghetti out of it, and tarragon, which is used in some of our best salad dressings, and mint, which is everybody's favorite mm -hmm. uh, small ones. But you have mm -hmm. others, you know, stevia, yeah. you're growing a lot of these. Don't you do ones, like right? lettuce also? I've seen that yes, on the, on yes, the uh, uh, grocery shelves, right? Yeah, for the produce, uh, our biggest production is in lettuce. We have uh, 10 hectares. 10 hectares, uh, okay. That, but that's our model or our main farm. Right. You do we contract have, farming? Yes. yes. Okay. Right. Which I guess you have to because you won't be able to produce correct, too much correct. volume. Yeah. Okay. That's part of our CSR. Oh, so part. this is all organic. Yes. Now yes. please tell me what does organic mean? <laughs> you know, it, it's it's a cliche when you say that organic, uh, chemical free, pesticide free. Mm. All of those are true, but I think uh, one important thing that we're, we're missing out when we say organic is that um, biodiversity and, you know, looking out for the welfare of the people mm -hmm. around the, the, the farm. Like, for example, if you have a livestock there and they start, you know, eating some of the, the, the produce, right. Uh, they get infected and then people start eating this livestock, okay. you know, it's, it's really uh, the whole ecosystem. But nowadays there are organic fertilizers that are being developed. I know that you can make teas out of these oh, and they're yeah. very healthful, right? Yes. How would you do them? Yeah, well, uh, the best way to have a decoction of tarragon is just to have them fresh. Right? Like like this. Put it in uh, hot water, if you okay. in hot water. Can I suggest, we're going to take a small <laughs> commercial break <laughs> and we'll, when we come back you show us how to do that, okay? <laughs> By all and means, yes. All right. Come back everybody, we're going to do some wonderful herbal teas with Len Reyes of Gourmet Farms.